steady stream of people as they cross the river in Brownsville, Texas, um, trying to make it into the United States. It's a very chaotic situation. Once they cross, a lot of the facilities are already full to overflowing. And then there are mass releases that are taking place uh, where basically people are just set free into the country. So it's, it's extraordinarily dangerous, extraordinarily unorganized. And uh, they're trying to figure out an answer to this from the White House to Capitol Hill today. And with just hours left on Title 42, which basically has kept about 47% of crossers that having to be sent back under Title 42. So you could see an almost doubling of the numbers that we've seen, which is um, upwards of 5 million people who've crossed in. And uh, some have stayed and some have been sent back over the course of the Biden administration so far. So right now you've got House Republicans on the Hill trying to push through a bill that they say would address the crisis, the Secure the Border Act, would add at least 22,000 new Border Patrol agents, reinstate the Remain in Mexico policy that was in effect under President Trump, and restart construction of the border wall, which was one of the first things that he said he wanted to do uh, when he decided to run for president. They made progress, but it was not complete. And that has set off some very heated debate, all of this, on the House floor. Watch. The disorder is obvious at the border, but this bill won't fix that. The administration is creating a program of either drug mules or indentured servants. A shameful, unserious bill that would shutter our country's asylum system and make the situation at the border much worse. This administration sends all other children to poorly vetted so-called sponsors in this country with little concern or follow-up over the conditions into which we have abandoned them. Yeah, that last point is one of the scary things that's happening at the border, and I, I can't help but think of it as I watch these families and children who are crossing the river right now. We've got a live shot on the right-hand side of this screen. Joining me now is the last lawmaker that you heard there, California Congressman Tom McClintock, one of the co-authors of this bill. Good to have you here, sir. Uh, you hear the criticism from your colleagues on the other side of the aisle. They say, basically, nice try, but it's not going to fix anything. What do you say? Well, it fixes everything in the sense that we had already secured our border when Joe Biden, the Democrats, took office. Uh, the Trump remain in Mexico policy had slowed illegal immigration to a trickle. The border wall was nearing completion. ICE was actually enforcing a court-ordered deportations. The border was secure. That afternoon, Biden and the Democrats reversed those policies, and the result is the largest illegal mass migration in history. And we're about to see it get infinitely worse. This bill simply restores the policies that worked and makes it very hard for future presidents to refuse to enforce the law as Joe Biden has. Well, uh, this is the statement from the OMB uh, saying because this bill does very little to actually increase border security while doing a great deal to trample on the nation's core values and international obligations, it should be rejected uh, in the form of a veto. What do you say to that? Well, that's ridiculous. First of all, it completes the border wall, which the Border Patrol tells us is absolutely essential for them to do their jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, Israel's border wall uh, reduced illegal crossings to practically nothing. Uh, uh, and we removed the incentives to file uh, 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 fraudulent, uh, phony asylum claims. Right now, if you file an, a, a phony claim, you're automatically admitted to the country in violation of federal law. You're guaranteed indefinite residency, indefinite work authorization, lots and lots of free stuff. And years from now, uh, when your claim is rejected by a clogged court system, you can be reasonably sure you're going to stay in the United States because court-ordered deportations are no longer being enforced universally. So, so they have every incentive to file phony claims. That gluts the system and it's not fair to, to legitimate asylum claims. Uh, this bill removes those incentives, says you can file a claim, but you've got to wait for it to be adjudicated, either detained in the United States, as the law already requires, or you can remain in Mexico or a safe third country. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, it's interesting. Once we already have so many people who have been released in the country. It's kind of, it's, it's so enormous. And you see what's going on in Chicago and New York City and some of these suburbs. So um, it, it's very difficult to figure out how this is going to get ironed out uh, over the long term. Thank you very much, Tom McClinton. Good to have you with us, sir. Thanks for having me.